bird. One day, this bird, which had nowhere to land, grew tired of flying around. So it stirred up the sea until it threw its waters against the sky. The sky, in order to restrain the sea, showered upon it many islands until it could no longer rise, but instead flew back and forth, making a tide. Then the sky ordered the bird to land on one of the islands to build her nest and to leave the sky in peace. Now, at this time, the land breeze and the sea breeze were married, and they had a child which they named Bamboo. One day, when this bamboo was floating about on the water, it struck the feet of the bird that was on the beach. The bird, angry that anything should strike it, pecked at the bamboo until it split in half. Out of one section came a man named Malakas, a strong one, and from the other half, a woman named Maganda, the beautiful one. Then the earthquake called on all the birds and fish to see what should be done with these two. It was decided that they should marry. Together, Malakas and Maganda had many children, and from them came all the different races of people. After a while, the parents grew very tired of having so many idle and useless children around. They wished to be rid of them but they knew of no other place to send them off to. Time went on, and the children became even more numerous that the parents enjoyed no peace. One day, in desperation, the father seized a stick and began beating the children. This so frightened the children that they fled in different directions, seeking hidden rooms in the house. Some concealed themselves in the walls, some ran outside, others hid in the earthen stove, and several fled to the sea. Now, it happened that so those scared. who went into the hidden rooms of the house later became the chiefs of the islands, also called Maharliga. Maharliga. And those who concealed themselves in the walls became slaves, also